Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I am gonna be sharing how I make an income in Google Sites. This was one of the poll questions I asked in the community section of my YouTube channel. Um, so I gave three options, as you see. <laughs> three option was uh, how I make an income designing in Google Sites and how it's made, like discussing how each design is created or like what I would do if I was designing in Google Sites for the first time. So you guys voted and because, you know, I wanna keep my word, <laughs> I'm gonna share with you how I make an income designing in Google Sites. So let's just get started. All right, so first, this is my first Google Site project. I actually had to create this in college for, I don't know, one of my classes. And it was the first time I started using the new Google sites. And as someone who, you know, used other website builders, I hated Google sites. I was like, man, this thing sucks. Can I use something else? And I'm like, no, it's a part of the assignment. You must use Google sites. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So this is what I created. Um, and I just shared my photography website and like a school website that I was working on and that I, that I had built out. So as you see, my first Google site was completely awful. <laughs> it was absolutely terrible, but that's because I had no idea how to make it function. So this was in, uh, I guess, 20, 27, 20, no, 2018, 2019. I don't know. It was either 2019 or 2020 that I had to create this. And so a couple years later, so 2020 is when I decided that I would create um, She Designs Things just as a way to expand my like income, like sort of a little passive income because I had a full-time day job and I was a full-time student. So then I came up with my practice site, which here it is. <laughs> so my practice site, I adored. I liked that it was literally, when you look at it on a phone, it's like me in the middle and then she designs things and like, you know, this really cool background that I really like the colors of. Um, so I kind of, that's when I first started adding transparent images inside of Google Sites just to see what I could create. Um, and I came up with this like I wanted to have an arrow pointing to me, which only worked if I was using it on like, you know, a desktop. So that was super aggravating, but you know, it was really my portfolio site. Like this was sort of the first step in my business. She designs things. So this is the original, original She Designs Things. I think if you go to like my She Designs Things TikTok, the very first video might even feature this as like, an ad style I don't know I think it features it like an ad style I have my shop which was laid out like <laughs> sort of like this um, and then this is where I discovered you could add PayPal add to cart buttons and that made things so much easier for me that I was like hmm so if I can have the PayPal add to cart button why do I need to use any other e-commerce site. If you have like a small inventory or you're doing digital products, Google sites work just fine. And so I decided to, you know, play around and create more templates. And the first template I created was the naturalist. As you see, there she is. And I really enjoyed the naturalist. Um, but yeah, my original layout was not the cleanest. And then this is where I just dumped a whole bunch of stuff because this is a practice site. So now let's talk about the dineros, the money. How do I get clients? Not even clients, just how do I make money in Google Sites? Like, where does my monies come from? You know, it doesn't come from thin air. All right, so it is no surprise that I create Google Site templates, but a lot of people are like, but how do you make monies? How do you sell the templates? Are the templates a part of how you make money? Yes, one. The templates work for me as passive income. I create a PDF downloadable file that has a link to said template. In Google Sites and in Google Drive, when you share something with someone, you have the option of making it so that they have to request access. Or if you don't want them to request access, you can set it to like be open for, for pretty much everyone. Um, but if you do that, make sure you set your file 
to not be to you know you don't want them to be editors you just want them to be able to get the file so for me they can they request access and then once they have access they simply right click on the file and then make a copy and that's how they have access to their template and the template then goes to their google site um portal and that's where it is <laughs> i'll make an updated video about that part um, at a later date but when it comes to how i get clients first off i am not just a google site designer <laughs> let me start by saying that i have knowledge i wouldn't say extensive but i have a a, a quasi kind of overview of a bit of web development um, I'm not so I hate WordPress I do work in WordPress but I I just I'm nah me, me and PHP ain't friends put it that way um, and a lot of times I like to work through a project and get it done and then okay bye um, like my brain does not want to focus on that one thing forever. Like I just want it to be done and move on to something new and exciting. So for me, having like long winded projects does not work out for me. A lot of my clients find me by searching on Google, like um, Google say templates, or they go to YouTube and they type in like how to make Google sites look better. And so a good amount of people find me that way. But it, what it comes down to is most of my clients have a website and they just want it to look good but because they're not website builders because they have other businesses that they're trying to work on they don't have the time you know how web designers and graphic artists make money do you know how we make money people don't have the time to do you pay people to do the things you don't want to do and so you could be completely trash <laughs> like the worst designer ever but as long as somebody out there is like they don't have the time to do it and they're willing to pay you to do it you will make an income now let's talk about how i make my income without screwing the rest of the web designers and graphic artists in the world because i set my pricing to match if not a little bit more than what the average market price is and i'm going to explain why this is just because google sites is a drag and drop website builder does not mean it's easy to build websites in it. Put it this way, um, I have a client who is a multi-million dollar organization and they have a lot of processes, but their front-facing website, which I'll kind of do a video about their site once it's complete, um, but their front-facing front website just needed to be refreshed. And there were little things that they used that you know, they wanted to add to their Google site that they themselves did not know how to add to the Google site. So I had to, you know, write a little bit of custom HTML, a little bit of custom CSS to get the look that my client was wanting. Now, I don't know if you know this on my Google site, I do not do all the fancy stuff that I do on my client's site. I can still do all the stuff on my site and on my client site without compromising their SEO because I also do SEO services specific to Google sites. So I will say this, if you do decide that you wanna design inside of Google sites, make sure you're offering SEO services that will benefit your client and learn as much as you can about how SEO works. And then you're gonna to have to learn how to rework it for Google sites because it's not cut and dry. I promise it is not cut and dry. <laughs> now, here is a little bit of how I make some side hustle income because I don't like the word passive income because it just seems like a negative connotation nowadays. Same with like anything that has to do with like affiliate marketing. I refuse. I'm not interested. Um, so this is how I make additional income. I sell templates, but I will say I do not sell a ton of templates on my Etsy store, nor do I sell a ton, ton of templates on my website. I sell enough templates for enough demographics in enough industries that my clients will always, and I mean this, they will always go with a custom site. Now I will say this, you see this that says custom site right here, and you see this price. This price is based on someone who has a site that is 
five standard web pages. Majority of my clients have over 40 web pages. <laughs> so they are not paying this price. Um, there is so much that goes into building and developing a website. There are clients who come to me and they have no branding. I am not one of those web designers who can just design for you without branding. You will have to provide me with branding or I will, you know, tell you we're going to have to do a branding package. And that is because I want you and your business to succeed. But if you do not do these things, your business will probably suffer a little bit. I won't say that it will fail if you're in a niche that's pretty good, but you definitely need to have that recognition for people to say like, oh, I recognize them. Yeah, they're good. Because word of mouth is still king or queen, depending on who you ask. <laughs> All right, so I do hope this video was informative and kind of gave you some insight on how I, <laughs> you know, receive my income from selling Google sites. Um, this is one of my two primary jobs. As I said, I am a professional photographer first. And just for reference, this is my photography business, The Bokeh Lens. And I just completed my Powerful Women series. <laughs> so, yay! I'm really happy about this series so anyways just uh yeah if you had any questions feel free to reach out and of course thanks so much for watching and laters